So I'm Port Fisher. I asked you the question on the Stossel Fox Business debate about how you would. Hey, you gotta. We, no, no, this is okay. You okay? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank about you. how you'd appeal to disenfranchised Democrat yeah. voters, and you pointed out your common ground with uh, Bernie Sanders. Now that Bernie is basically out of the race, uh, what do you have to say to voters on sort of both sides? Well, you know, actually, Bernie is a doubt, and we, we see that as really a, a pivotal event, but. Um, the notion that everybody, I think, should get on the website isidewith.com and take the political quiz and see which pr presidential candidate you most align with and then knock yourself out supporting that person. I think it's interesting that when I take this quiz uh, outside of the libertarian candidates, uh, the next politician that I align with is Bernie Sanders. So I think there's a real connection there. Uh, and that would be really regarding social issues, the inequality, uh, the, the, how the system is rigged, let's stop dropping bombs, uh, let's legalize marijuana. On the Republican side, look, if you're for small government, uh, I think Gary Johnson, and I, I hope Bill Weld is the nominee for vice president, but I think Gary Johnson, Bill Weld is a proven ticket of smaller government. And can you tell me a bit about your choice for Bill Weld? So he's a Massachusetts Republican, so another person who has some uh, sympathies for maybe social liberalism? Well, uh, go, go, well going way back, uh, that he's always described himself as a libertarian. Uh, as governor of Massachusetts, he described himself as a, a libertarian Republican. Uh, Bill Clinton nominated him for um, ambassador to Mexico. Jesse Helms blocked that nomination because Bill Weld was pro-choice, he was pro-gay rights, uh, he was uh, pro-medical marijuana. And this was in the 90s when these things really weren't being talked about uh, like they are today. I mean, he was front-end on all this stuff. So he was a role model for me. He was somebody that I held up on a pedestal as being the smartest guy in the room, but more important than being the smartest guy in the room. He was classy and that started with uh, humility. And so we're hoping to make a team effort out of this. Uh, you get two for the price of one. Right, and lastly, on the other side, you have Trump's been nominated by the Republicans, clearly unhappy with the status quo on their side. What do you say to the person who just says, you know, Trump's my man now? Well, I don't know if I have anything to say to that person, but for, for, 50, for what I think are 50% of Republicans, uh, that are disenfranchised with Trump. Um, look, um, we are about smaller government, that that's the most important issue that there is, and that ultimately that's more freedom uh, when you don't have to fear the government. Um, you know, that's, that's liberty. Uh, when citizens live in fear of the government, uh, that's tyranny, and that's where we're headed with Donald Trump.